Today we're making salmon cakes with creamy garlic chive sauce. My salmon cakes is a perfect example how you can take your leftovers and turn them into something exciting and new and completely different. I'm using leftover salmon and mashed potatoes and just wait until you see what's in the sauce. But before we get too far, I'm Julia from vikalinka.com. Subscribe to our channel if you want to see more reliable recipes. So there are two ways to make salmon cakes or two traditional ways to make salmon cakes. Uh, some people make them with breadcrumbs and some pe people make them with mashed potatoes. I'm using mashed potatoes because I had them as leftovers and also that's a more traditional way in England and I think that the texture is much nicer and more interesting. So we'll make the sauce first, put it in the fridge and then get to our salmon cakes, all right? So the base of the sauce is yogurt. I'm using fat-free yogurt, but you can use full fat, it's really up to you. About half a cup here. Next, I'm gonna use chives. Such good flavor. A little bit of lemon juice. Lastly, I'm gonna grate half a clove of garlic. I mean, you can use a whole one, but I don't wanna go too crazy. It's a really small clove anyway, so it's almost. All right. I'm gonna mix it up and then add salt. All right, I'm just gonna have a little taste to see if there's enough salt and if the flavors are good. So gonna add a little bit more salt. So the components for the salmon cakes are actually quite simple. So we've got our mashed potatoes, we have cooked salmon, herbs, lemon, one egg and flour. So all of them are gonna come together and form cakes. All right, so um, I'm using leftover salmon. You can also use canned salmon, but I'm not gonna lie, fresh cooked salmon tastes better. So because I've got chunks here, I'm just gonna use two forks and loosely kind of shred a little bit, not into really, really small flakes, but I don't know, bite size. Something that would form into a cake. But you also want some texture, so don't go too small. So I'm using uh, mashed potatoes that I already had and they're mixed with some herbs. So obviously yours could be plain, but herbs obviously add lots of flavor. I'm just transferring to a bigger bowl because we need bigger bowl for mixing. Okay, and then, so there's about three cups of mashed potatoes here, four to five potatoes. So directly into the bowl, I'm gonna zest my lemon. The whole lemon. Fish really likes lemon. Okay, so I had half a lemon left from previous recipe, so I'm just gonna juice it right here. I'm trying to catch the seeds so they don't fall into my mixture. Okay, so I'm gonna add about one tablespoon of flour, heaping. Flour is there to keep the mixture together. And then I'm gonna add more herbs. Any herbs you like, I'm using parsley and dill. A little bit of salt. It's about one and a half teaspoon here. And then one egg. Sometimes people ask me why their salmon cakes fall apart. And usually that happens if there's not enough of moisture to keep them together. So if that happens, you can use another egg or even a little bit more flour, but usually it's the mashed potatoes that keep them together because they're very sticky. Okay, the next step is we're gonna form our cakes. Generously flour your work surface. Then with a large spoon, scoop evenly sized portions of the salmon and potato mixture. Roll each around on the surface to form the cakes into balls, then gently flatten to get your desired shape. So our salmon cakes have been shaped, they've been dusted with flour. Um, I have 12 um, <laughs> hockey puck size um, salmon cakes. Now I'm gonna put them in the fridge for 20 minutes to firm up, all right? All right, so our fish cakes are out of the fridge. They just, they've been chilling for 20 minutes. They're a little bit firmer than they were, so they're easier to fry. They will not fall apart. So now we're going to fry them. 
Olive oil, you can use vegetable oil, it's up to you. Let it heat before you actually put anything in. Let me show you the easiest trick um, that will allow you to see if your oil is ready for frying. So just take a pinch of flour and drop. If it sizzles, your oil is ready, it's hot enough. Okay, and ours is, so let's go. So let's see if it's ready on one side. Yep. Be gentle when flipping the salmon cakes as they can be slightly delicate at this stage. So um, they're ready to be taken off. It's important to remember they're quite delicate and that's why they're so good. So be very careful when you're taking them off. And I lined my plate with paper towel to soak up the grease. I'm gonna spend a few minutes finishing up this and then I'll get back to you. Here we go, 12 beautiful salmon cakes that will easily feed four or five people. I'm gonna taste one right now. So let me just get my sauce. And I recommend waiting just a little bit before you bite into one because they will be as hot as lava inside. We don't want that. So good, I love the big chunks of salmon in my salmon cakes. I can taste the fresh herbs, lemon zest, the potatoes bring everything together beautifully. Just absolutely delicious and so crunchy on the outside. 